Greetings! Welcome back to another episode of Let's Snoop Inside People's Homes. Starring Este! When I first thought of the idea of sense of self, Este was one of the first people that came to my mind because I think she has such a strong, unique aesthetic. I've wanted to shoot this with her since the idea was just a little seed in my head. But she lives in London, so it's not like I could just, you know, hop over next door and be like, hey, let's do this. But luckily, I was in London not too long ago, so I made it a point to go and see Este and do this with her. And it was something so special because Este and I met for the first time last year at VidCon, and I have watched her videos for a really long time. And she's always just been one of those people that I felt like when I watched her videos, she was like this friend that I had always had, but was missing from my life at the same time because we had never actually met before. But she just kind of has that aura about her, which I think is really special and unique and definitely something to be proud of. I'm really excited for Este because I think she has incredible things ahead of her. She is smart, she's funny, and she has really great ideas and opinions that are worth sharing. So I hope you guys enjoy getting to see some of the things in her house that are special to her because I know I did. It was truly a meaningful experience for me because Este is one of my favorite people. So let's do this. I'm just gonna stop being sappy now before I start crying because eventually that always happens and then we have to bring in the tissues. So let's just move on into Estee's place. Here we go. Hi. Hello. Hug it out, hug it out. Hug it out. Oh, I'm like hug not letting go, out. not letting go. But in. Oh, it's so within you to give birth to a dancing star. And my philosophy is, poop is the dancing star. Oh my god, can we just call poops dancing yeah. stars? Yeah. Dancing stars! <laughs> Ta-da! Now we're in a new room, and we're gonna touch things. This pillow has been, I don't even know how to introduce this because it's just like another limb to me. It's been in my life since I was a little babe. But, Ingrid, this pillow is also very disgusting because think about how many times I've slept on this and I wanted to put this in this video so bad but I'm terrified that you're going to take the pillow cover off and see all the drooling sweat yeah. underneath. It's from my grandma's house. You can hold oh it. Oh my god. It's just like the softest, most comfortable pillow ever. I nap on it every day. <laughs> well, it's been yeah. snug for your entire yeah. life. Yeah, there's like paint marks on it, oh other gosh. very- Has it always had this pillowcase? This is the pillowcase. I mean, I wash the pillowcase, obviously. I don't let anyone else use it, and if they get caught, there's gonna be hell to pay, but it's just like my favorite well, thing. Well, it's an honor to hold this yeah. pillow. Yeah, I'm like, give it back, give it back. 
I never thought I was one of those freaky people who had, you know, when you see like the movies with the kids with the blankets and like, you know, they're, it's their security blanket. I was like, oh, that's so weird. But I've realized at 25 years old, I've had one my whole life. She's a freaky person. I'm a freaky person <laughs> with a security pillow. Let me expose my ear here because I do in fact have another ear on this side of my head. So now we can listen to things. that was like my favorite sound. One that I hear regularly, and obviously you probably already know what it is. It's my kettle. Oh yeah. Okay, I love tea. Tea makes my life um, complete. It's part of my everyday routine. I've already had four cups of tea today. Oh my god. Yeah, I love it. I love tea too, but I can't have that much because then I'm just like, whoa! You're like, <laughs> yeah. So this kettle is quite a point of conversation because do you know about this? It has a very weird space agey sound. By the way, it's a KitchenAid, and this is the sound it makes. It's like an airplane, oh, and it's like unlike like any seatbelt sound. Like, oh, ding. And when I hear that sound in the morning, it's like everything's gonna be great, and it's, it's like, boiling. Oh my god! What about when it finishes? Does it, it makes the same sound. Like your tea is ready. Yeah, I, oh my god! I love it so much. <laughs> and I'm gonna make. Well, do you want a cup of tea right now? I will have another cup of tea. Then let's just keep. When it I going. leave here, I'm just gonna be like. This is <laughs> Ooh, the tea is ready. <laughs> Cheers. <Yeah. laughs> oh, it's like right perfect. At the level, yeah. It's perfect. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I feel better already. That's the good stuff. We're now doing taste, and I feel like I need to introduce this one because it is from my homeland. Maple syrup! This is one I brought back from Canada for you. Oh my Because I always like to give people maple syrup, so this one's for you. <laughs> but I don't want to make you get sugar high on your own supply. So, <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna try a little bit of mine. But have you ever had like true Canadian maple syrup? I haven't had like pure Canadian okay. maple syrup. Okay, this is like my neighbor made this stuff. Really? I've never just taken like a spoon shot of maple syrup. Well, there's a first time for everything. Cheers. <laughs> that is effing delicious. Okay. That is so good. Mm. Thank you. You're welcome. Now I get to take it home. I'm just like really ready to just drink this whole bottle, but yeah. yeah, yeah. And I don't know if you know this, but in Canada, if you get sick and you need to like go to the hospital to get rehydrated, they actually put maple syrup in the drip. Wow. In great online. They don't do that. But what they do with maple syrup is they like harden it so it's kind of like fudge and it's like a pure maple sugar cube and you eat it. What? <laughs> and you eat it. Just put it in your mouth and let me the wash The whole thing? It. Let me wash the satisfaction. It's gonna dissolve. It's gonna mm. get warm. It's gonna melt and... Oh my god. Ugh, I need to have one. This is an experience. Close your eyes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah! <laughs> yep. It just sticks to the roof of your mouth, and this this happened, this lisp that I have, but it's just you embrace it. Alright, what do you have to show us today? Da, 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 da. I don't know why I'm making my own music. <laughs> okay, ready. This. Oh my gosh! This okay. is so cool! So, this is actually a jewelry box. Oh wow! With no jewelry in it! <laughs> and the reason why there's no jewelry in it is because, and why I'm using it for sight is because this is the type of thing you look at but don't touch. Yeah. Except right now. It does seem very delicate because these are real shells. They're real shells. And it has a nice sentimental meaning because I got this in Provincetown. Have you been there? Mm -mm. It's amazing, such a great time. And I went into this like seashell shop and I feel like most people know this about me that I buy a lot of pointless stuff. This is one of those things where I went into the tourist shop and I was like, I need that. And I was like, let me sleep on this for once. And I slept on it and I went back the next day and it was like the most like bejeweled jewelry box that they had. 
and I love it. It's like my favorite. Too. Thing. Do you want to hold it? Yeah. Is it heavy? It's like kind of heavy. Yeah. Yeah. It's heavier than you would expect. Yeah. But so. yeah, I would see why you would not want to mm. use this because I would definitely like drop it yeah. or like hit something against it. Yeah. This is beautiful. Though. Oh my gosh, that's yeah. the magic jewelry box. Was that really from the jewelry <laughs> box? No, it's my door. Oh. Box. <laughs> Bye. Bye.